Hey everyone, today I want to talk about an old but alternative concept of mounting Bowden tubes. This is my Bontech extruder that I use for all of my prints. And to be honest, the extruder is truly amazing, but what I really dislike is the clips that hold the Bowden tubes. So whenever the extruder exerts a lot of force, on the filament, the tube sometimes slips and then the clips will cut really deep into the bowden, usually so bad that I need to cut a bit off. And then, after doing that multiple times, the tube becomes too short to reuse. I had seen this clamp style connection about 5 years ago and I've never seen it since, so I'm really curious what you guys think about this connection method. And this is version number 1 and the body uses a tapered screw of 10 degrees. This made the part way too bulky as it is and that's why version 2 came to life with an angle of 5 degrees. And with the help of this smaller angle could the body be made smaller, which as you can see is quite substantial. And then I thought compared to a regular insert this is still pretty large so I made the taper a lot shorter but still kept it at 5 degrees. And then I ran out of clamping space and that's why I made this final version 4. I will now show you the secret ingredient that you need to get an absolutely good grip on the Bowden tube and something that they probably have not done in the old design from years ago. And you are probably screaming at me like it's rubber, 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 but actually no, it's, it's sandpaper. You need to cut up a little section of sandpaper so it just wraps around the Bowden tube with the length of the 3D printed part. Then with a bit of twisting and pushing you can insert the Bowden and sandpaper sandwich into the 3D printed taper. Then you can carefully twist on the nut by keeping track of the sandpaper is still in the correct position and then keep on screwing till everything is tight and nothing is moving anymore. Here I have a kitchen scale to show you that you can exert a lot of force on the clamp and that the bowden is not moving at all. And you can see that I left a bit of bone sticking out of the bottom so I can push against it. The silver tape is there to mark if the tube has moved and as you can see I pushed over 10 kilograms and now it's time to see if the tube has shifted at all. Well, I can't see any shifting whatsoever, so let's examine the Bowden tube to see if there is perhaps any damage. Let's unscrew the nut and take the tube out to have an examination and I can only see some minor scratches. Uh, that's from taking the tube out of the sandpaper, but that's basically it. And now you might wonder, well, does that not create a lot of friction clamping down on the Bowden tube? Actually, no, it's uh, really smooth. And if you still find the size of the clamp a bit bulky, well, that's because I made the model in such a way that you can FDM print it yourself. Here you can see the white part and that's SLA printed and therefore it can be made much smaller. Jumping over to Fusion, when we roll back the timeline we can see that each part starts with a taper and a nut. I did some example operations, so feel free to add your own mounting option. You could even use an M6 threaded rod with some 2mm hole drilled inside to mount to an existing printer, because those uh, pneumatic uh, fittings are uh, usually M6. The taper part is quite hard to make, it's also not made in Fusion. So if you want something in particular, you can always ask um, and leave in the comments what you think about this uh, mounting option. Thank you all for watching and remember, just try to DIY.